We have team coverage tonight on a cross-country murder suspect. He's believed to be the man who shot and killed two people here in St. Louis and two in South Carolina, and now he's finally in custody. Fox 2's Chris Hayes has the amazing drama that led up to the capture all new at 10. Here he is in the back of a pickup truck right after his arrest, and he appears to be talking to the four tactical officers with him. He spoke very well here. Um, you know, obviously he was he was uh, he was tired, thirsty, and and I spoke to him and asked him if he was okay. You know, he's he's all cut up. He's got bug bites. His clothes are torn. Um, you know, he, he's exhausted. Chester County, South Carolina Sheriff Max Dorsey on the amazing effort by hundreds of officers who camped out here. Think about these men and women. Think about these cops who put in so much for people they don't even know. They not only knew their suspect was armed, he'd been seen on surveillance video taking a loaded gun from a vehicle days earlier, but officers also knew he was capable of surviving in the wild. He was homeless um, at some periods of his life, and so uh, it, it, it came to be that he would live in the woods. For up to a month at a time, the sheriff said, Tyler Donat Terry allegedly began his murderous rampage along with his girlfriend, Adrian Simpson, May 2nd in York, South Carolina. Thomas Harden, a transgender and reported to be once romantically involved with Terry, was murdered. May 15th, Terry and Simpson drove to St. Louis, where Barbara Goodkin and Dr. Sergei Zakharev were killed in two random robberies. May 20th, police found the body of Simpson's husband, Eugene, also believed to be murdered by Tyler Terry. Saturday, May 23rd, Chester County Sheriff's deputies believe they had Terry surrounded in the woods. Tweets throughout the day warned nearby residents, secure firearms, lock your doors, and report suspicious activity around any trash can or barn. We had confidence that he was within our bubble, and he was. He was within our bubble the whole time. He says Terry had no shoes and was hiding in tall weeds, wearing all black. No one was reported hurt during his capture. The officers uh, just received a shot of adrenaline in their arm. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Wesley Bell announced two more surprises while reading 14 criminal charges Terry and Simpson now face here. He said murder victim Goodkin's husband, who was also shot May 15th, was saved by his cell phone in his chest pocket. He also confirmed what Fox 2 first reported Friday about a reported random shooting at a driver on an interstate. Bell said Terry fired 10 shots at a person driving I-170 May 15th, striking the victim's car three times, but not injuring the driver. Bell said the South Carolina charges are serious enough that Terry and Simpson won't be extradited from Missouri's charges anytime soon, if ever. Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.